Alright, well, I wanted to make a new video of this radio I'm going to start working on. It's a Philco. It's a Philco 40-1274. And it's in really good shape. I got it from a guy that I work with. We work in the same building. And the grill costs in real good shape. It's a bit faded. There's a couple chunks out of the veneer in the front here, but it's not too bad. The top has got some ring damage, water damage it looks like, but it's salvageable for sure. Then the little compartment here opens up. The worst ding is right there on the on the veneer there. Maybe I can fix that, I don't know. Here's the controls and the dial plate looks real good. No flaking or anything. Push buttons look good, the knobs all there, knobs are all good. Looks like it needs some pads or rubber feet to hold that up level. It sits down in just a little bit. But my son and I uh, turned it on earlier and all you get is a hum. And here's the back side a little bit here. There's the back panel that goes there. I guess I should show the front how it opens up. It has a, an old 78's record player in there. And it's all there. The arm's a little off kilter there. Looks like need to be repaired. Very dusty and dirty. back around here again looks like all the tubes are there it's got let's see if I can get the flashlight here it's got the labels in there it's got a little tool there. All the tubes are in it. All the tubes lit up and glowed and all it did was hum. But anyway, the antenna's in there. It has uh, the record player. And then it says it has FM, AM, and shortwave. I haven't tore it apart at all. I mean, I've looked around in here a little bit, but like I said, my son and I plugged it in. All it did was hum. Couldn't get a station on it or anything. The uh, automatic, it has an automatic tuning thing and you could hear the motor running. Which is kind of strange. I haven't worked on nothing like that before. It's got uh, 6L6s for uh, power tubes. So it's, it's probably pretty powerful. 6L6s is what you use in some guitar amps. I have never seen them in a radio before. And then the speaker looks like it's in real good shape. Let's see if I can push this forward. It's got a 15 inch speaker in it. That's pretty big. 
cabinets in really good shape. The backboard here looks like it had water or sprinklers on it at one time, but uh, the cabinet's not delamin anywhere or anything. It's solid. It's a heavy sucker, I can tell you that. Got an old capacitor there. Doesn't look like the chassis's ever been out. I think somebody has worked on it because we have some plastic electrical tape. And I did that earlier. I unplugged the speaker. Uh, so I, somebody has been in it. These brown and black wires, they all run to lights that are in the cabinet. And it's got quite a few lights in it. It's even got one that goes down in the very, very bottom here. But it doesn't look to me as if anybody's been in the chassis itself. Time will tell. And uh, it's a good thing the tool's there. I'm sure that's for aligning your push buttons and what have you. There's some adjustment there. It's got Loctal tubes and octal tubes looks like this is going to be the fm portion of the box up here the antenna kind of swivels around a little bit the record player is really color cool a green once it's cleaned up i'm sure it's kind of like a mint meta metallic green kind of cool looks like everything is here I got an owner's manual coming for it and I'm gonna an original one and I'm gonna buy an original service manual for it also it's supposed to have the schematic in it and all that I did download some of these pages off of radio museum and it's got I'm sure the service manual is where all this came from but it's not real legible so I'm sure the original service manual will be much more legible but anyway this is gonna be uh, an interesting one I'm sure this one will take me some time I haven't worked on a record player before so that'll be a new experience. Looks like all the parts are there. Just need to uh, figure out how to make it go again. Uh, other than that, it's got a lot of tubes. I can't remember what it said. I think it said it had 15 tubes or something like that. But looks like a mouse on the the backboard has got some kind of insulation it looks like a mouse got to a little bit of it not too bad though it's got a little little speckles there from looks like a sprinkler got on it at one time or something water stain the front of it though is really nice it's not chipped besides that Grill cloth's really good. This side is actually really good. So, I think it's definitely worth a restore. From what I've read on the internet and antique radio forum, these things are supposed to sound really good. And they're actually quite rare. I think I read on there a guy said only 1100 and change were made back in the day and this one seems to be complete and pretty much all there we'll really find out when we get under this chassis I have to get under there but anyway I just wanted to show this uh, 
make this first video of it still in the box untouched at least by my hands and uh, thanks for watching if you watched bye